solo hit, Book of Moron, Moron, has been described as one of the most hilarious, intelligent, and scorching satirical attacks on idiocracy. That's a word, idiocracy, since Mark Twain. Uh, the one man shows at the Aronoff Center for three performances only starting tonight. And Robert joins us this morning to talk about intelligence, absurdity, and everything in between. Robert, thank there's you so much for coming between. in. There's a lot in between. Uh, there's a, there's absurd, a lot in between. Absurdity is there, yes. Well, All thanks right, for having uh, me. Yeah, a book of moron. Uh, when I, I looked at it, I thought, this is about a stupid guy. But in reading <laughs> the synopsis of it, it's yes. not about a guy who's so, not so, it doesn't seem to me at least, it's not so much about a guy who's stupid as a guy who's beaten senseless by all of these it, it, inside voices that yeah. are trying to make sense of the world around exactly, him. Exactly, exactly. It's, um, you know, when you, Twain used to say, you know, never get in an argument with a stupid person, you'll lose because they've had more experience. <laughs> Yeah. So, right. So, I mean, and this is a story about um, all of us that are just getting beaten up by, is it true? Is it not true? Is it fact? Is it fiction? I mean, you can't, you look at somebody, you can't say, is that a blank stare or is that Botox? Yeah. We can't even tell anymore. <laughs> I mean, is it, do, uh, do I believe it's butter or do I believe I can't believe it's not butter? I mean, all of us <laughs> has just been bombarding us. So in the show, I am a character that I portray that uh, has lost his memory. Okay. So he's actually got a clean slate to start with. So he doesn't have any of this indoctrination. So he can start being a little more specific about what's true and what's not true and help everybody else go on the journey with him. Well, yeah, right. It, so in this uh, a particular presentation and talking to the audience about this, uh, it, is it so much about what's going on around us or is it laughing so I don't, I don't cry? You, you, that's yeah, it's <laughs> the pain of a clown. Is yeah, that yes, of course. Exactly. Um, it is that. Uh, well, I mean, we do need this uh, exercise of getting this out, and it's easier, obviously, to laugh at it. If I'm going to tickle you, it's going to be easier than poking, poking at you. you right. my, my point of view. So, there. I mean, look, there's there's give and take, but it's pretty pretty even standard. I mean, if you took a look at it from, I don't really want to call it a political stature, but more of a cultural stature or tribal or how we are, it's my way or the highway or no, I'll be I'll compromise. There's enough jokes in there for both sides yeah, that so uh, you can project onto the show what it is that you want. Yeah, speaking of jokes, uh, uh, your background is as a stand-up. So yes, I did quite uh, a You bit. certainly understand how to establish a relationship or rapport with mm -hmm. an audience uh, uh, up there all by yourself. Yeah, which well, I, well I, pre I pre pretend I do different characters in this show, too. So I always have these five guys that you. I pull out that I can, <laughs> they can do the bad. I, I can blame them for yeah. some of the things. But, uh, but this one-man show has got to, to be different. Yeah. Uh, than it is doing uh, different from stand up, yeah. yes, because you know with stand up it's really set up punchline, set up punchline, and you know most of it just levels out. And we've been so bombarded with stand up comedy for the past 20, 30 years. It all, at least to me nowadays, kind of is the same. Close yeah. my eyes and I listen, and it's, sure. everything sounds the same. It's so with this though, when you have a show that has a narrative and it has kind of a story. You can start building these layers, and there's a lot of callbacks. There's a lot of jokes that you set present that are prescient and to start with, and then at the end of the, it's never funny to talk about comedy, right. which is r r bizarre. You know, right. comedy's <laughs> funny, but then you say, well, let's dissect it, and uh, it's, it's like nobody. It's like it's like analyzing. Let's yeah. just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah just, just do let's, it. So, let's just do so the, yeah, the best thing would you come to the show and you'll you know. Yeah. yeah. And what do you hope people get out of this? What do, uh, what do, you, yeah, what do what I do get that, out of it? No, what do you hope that people who come to the show get oh, out well, of it? Oh, you know, I mean, it, besides having it kind of be this catharsis of, of just every this situation everybody's in, I don't care if you're on the left or you're on the right, or you're religious, you're anti-religious, whatever it is, I mean, it's just this, okay, you know, there is something that does hold us together, there, which is the truer meaning of this show. Yeah. It's not that we're all morons, but we all have the capacity to see the moron in each of us as, as well as ourselves uh, so and it's like eh, that's not very flattering so let's all come together and um, be able to Robert you're an optimistic man <laughs> we're, we're, we're not all morons yes. <laughs> yeah we're not all but we, you are behind I am behind your back I uh, then, then we, you're a moron there, right? we, there we go there we go it sounds like a blast though and, uh, it is. Uh, book of moron is tonight at 730 and tomorrow at 430 and 730 set the air and off uh, yeah. we put all the details at local 12.com yeah, I click. think we got half price I'm sorry to interrupt but I think sure. the tickets are half price when you go on they, you can always interrupt for half price. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Robert DeBeck, thank Thanks. you so much for coming in, my sure. friend. You bet you. Uh, it is uh, 949. Let's check weather again. Here's Terry.